Welcome to a world that's been turned on its side, a world of tumble action washing. You've just made a key purchase and joined a fast growing family of consumers that are dedicated to preserving the environment. You've just made a purchase that will change the way you care for your clothing investment, that will not only improve the care of your wardrobe, but will also save you money. You've just purchased one of the finest, most advanced laundry appliances that money can buy. The philosophy behind horizontal axis washing is simple. Take a traditional top load washer tub, turn it on its side, and replace the harsher action of the agitator with a gentle tumbling motion. Garments are gently lifted by the tumbling veins instead of being pushed and pulled by an agitator. Your clothes should actually last longer with this gentle treatment. Yet because garments are tumbled through water, instead of being submerged in it, you'll use less water. Less water means lower energy use by your water heater. You're going to save water and energy like never before, and your clothes will be as clean as ever. Some features of your new washer are unique to horizontal axis machines. Viewing this DVD will give you a better understanding of those features. It's divided into three parts. Installing your tumble action washer, using your tumble action washer, and knowing your tumble action washer. You'll gain the most information about your washer by viewing all three sections. If your washer hasn't yet been installed, continue viewing for directions on how to complete the installation. You're probably eager to try out your new tumble action washer, but before you do, there are a few simple installation procedures to follow. As you would for any washer, be sure it's installed on a sturdy tile, vinyl, concrete, or hardwood floor. While installation on carpeting is not recommended, Setting the washer on a three-quarter inch thick piece of plywood will provide the required stability. There are many installation options, side by side, stacked, under the counter, or raised on pedestals. But regardless of which one you select, follow these basic installation procedures. Tumble action washers use an advanced suspension system that is secured with bolts during transportation. Follow the steps shown in this DVD or in the installation instructions to remove the shipping materials. You'll need a few basic household tools. There are four shipping bolts with plastic spacers and a P-clamp on the back of the washer. Remove the shipping bolts from the back of the washer. This takes a 3 8 inch socket. Separate the electric cord from the P-clamp. Remove the plastic spacers. A little water or glass cleaner makes them slide out easily. Fit the plastic plugs into the holes left by the shipping bolts. This yellow ribbon indicates the shipping blocks are still in place and must be removed. Prop up the washer with a corner post from the carton and remove the two Phillips head screws from the front service panel. There are two plastic guide pins in the service panel. These will make reinstalling the panel much easier you'll see two styrofoam support blocks. The styrofoam blocks can be removed by lifting up on the outer tub and sliding them toward the center. Remember to save all shipping materials because if the washer is moved to another site you must reinstall all of the shipping material to prevent damage to the washer during transit. Remove the inlet hoses and rubber washers from the plastic bag. Insert a washer in the fitting at both ends of each hose. Attach the water hoses to the inlets in the top right corner on the back of the washer. Be sure to attach the hose marked hot to the hot water inlet on the left and the other hose to the cold water inlet on the right. Connect the other end of both hoses to the water faucets. Be sure to connect the hot water hose to the hot water faucet and the other hose to the cold water faucet. In most installations, you'll find the hot water tap is on the left. Tighten all connections by hand, then tighten another two-thirds turn with pliers. Do not cross-thread or over-tighten. Make sure that neither hose is kinked or bent in a way that could restrict water flow. Fit the drain hose on the drain hose connector located in the top left corner on the back of the washer. Use pliers to secure the clamp in place. The top of the standpipe must be at least 24 inches high. A standpipe lower than that will allow water that enters the washer to drain right back out and the washer will never fill to the proper level. 
Place the end of the drain hose in the standpipe and secure it with the cable tie provided. Please consult your installation instructions to determine electrical requirements. Do not remove the grounding prong from the washer cord. Carefully move the washer to its final location. Do not attempt to lift or slide the washer using the dispenser drawer or washer door as a handle. If the washer is resting on a tile or vinyl floor, it will glide easily into position by spraying a little glass cleaner on the floor behind each leveling leg. When it's in its final position, place a level on the washer top. Accurate leveling is critical for any washer to run smoothly. An out-of-level washer may cause vibration. First, level it front to back, then check it side to side. Adjust the front leveling legs up or down to ensure the washer is resting solidly on the floor. Make sure all four corners of the washer are seated securely on the floor. If it wobbles now, like any washer, it will wobble more during operation. The installation instructions offer tips for leveling the washer on very uneven or damaged floors. For maximum stability, extend the legs only as much as is required for accurate leveling. Once leveled, the leveling legs should be locked in position. Have someone tilt the washer or prop it up and tighten the lock nuts against the base of the washer. Now that everything is in its final place, remove any remaining shipping tape. Install the dryer. Follow the instructions for electrical and venting requirements and further installation information. The matching dryer can be stacked on top of the washer to save space in your laundry area. For proper installation, follow the instructions that come with the stacking kit. Pedestals for the washer and matching dryer are available to elevate your appliances approximately 15 inches to make loading and unloading easier. The drawer in each pedestal is perfect for storing many laundry supplies. Installation instructions are included with each pedestal. You'll find your tumble action washer easy and convenient to use. It has a selection of cycles for every laundry load and provides automatic dispensing of detergent, bleach, and fabric softener. Its many features are designed with your laundry habits in mind. Many consumers wonder just how much laundry they can wash at one time. The tumble action washer offers a super capacity wash drum that can be fully loaded but should not be tightly packed. The door should close easily. A dry load of laundry this size is actually this size when wet. A comfortable load size for your washer. Avoid leaning on the washer door while loading or unloading the wash drum. Doing so could cause misalignment. To open the dispenser drawer, slide the safety latch to the right, then pull it towards you. The washer uses an automatic dispensing system. The contents of each compartment are flushed with water at the appropriate time in the cycle. This eliminates having to add laundry products directly to the drum. The detergent compartment can dispense either liquid or powder detergent. The type and amount of detergent used affects how well the washer cleans. We recommend using only a high efficiency detergent for best cleaning and to avoid oversudsing. Look for this logo on the detergent label. Use the cap or scoop provided by the manufacturer to measure the amount of detergent recommended. Liquid detergent will flow out of the compartment immediately and therefore it is not recommended with the delay start option. Powder detergent will be dispensed at the beginning of the wash cycle. Liquid chlorine bleach may be added to this chamber. The bleach compartment is designed to hold about one-third cup of liquid chlorine bleach. Carefully pour the bleach into the chamber to avoid spills. Fill to min for small loads or max for large loads. Filling above max could cause undiluted bleach to dispense early and damage the wash load. Liquid or powder color safe bleach can be added to the detergent chamber. Be sure to use liquid color safe bleach with a liquid detergent or a powder color safe bleach with a powder detergent. Add liquid fabric softener to this compartment. It will automatically be dispensed in the final rinse. Select Min for ultra fabric softeners and Max for regular fabric softeners. Close the dispenser slowly, making sure it latches. 
A special safety switch located inside the drawer will prevent the washer from operating if the dispenser is not completely closed. Always follow the clothing manufacturer's recommendation for proper care. Your tumble action washer offers a variety of cycles specially designed for all your laundry needs. Turn the cycle selector knob to the cycle desired. Recommended spin speeds and other options are preset for each cycle. Preset water temperatures are available on some models. Read the operating instructions for a more complete description of each cycle. Several wash and rinse water temperature combinations are available. Turn the knob to select the water temperature desired. If the cycle status lights blink and the signal beeps three times, you've selected an inappropriate temperature for that cycle. On some models, the suitable wash and rinse water temperatures will automatically be displayed for each cycle. To change the setting, push the temp button until the desired selection is lighted. This symbol indicates the hot, warm, and cold wash water temperatures are automatically controlled. Regulating the wash water temperature conserves energy and helps detergent work better. This water droplet symbolizes water temperatures that conserve energy. To protect your wardrobe investment and conserve energy, not all water temperature combinations are available for every cycle. Consult the operating instructions for more details. It is not necessary to select a water level because the tumble action washer automatically adds the proper amount of water for each load. Three final spin speeds, high, medium, and low, are customized for each cycle. To increase water extraction and shorten drying time, select high spin. Selecting low spin will help reduce wrinkling. The speeds will vary from cycle to cycle. For example, high speed in the normal cycle is much faster than the high speed in the hand wash cycle. A final spin speed has been pre-selected for each cycle. To change that setting, push the spin button until the desired speed is selected. The hang dry setting is available with some cycles. The reduced spin speed is gentle enough for those items that shouldn't be machine dried. To eliminate the final spin, select no spin. Certain options can be added to wash cycles by pressing the option button. If the option is available in that cycle, the light will blink briefly. Press the select button to add the option and the indicator will light up. Follow the same steps to delete an option. To protect your wardrobe investment, not all spin speeds and options are available for every cycle. Consult the operating instructions for more details. To start the washer, press the start button. As a safety measure, the door will automatically lock during the entire cycle and the door locked indicator will be lighted. Once the cycle has started, the selections you've made can't be changed unless the washer is stopped by pressing pause cancel an item can be added to the load after the cycle is started if the Add Garment indicator is lighted. Press the pause button once, open the door, and add the item. To restart the cycle from where it left off, press the Start button again. To avoid having someone accidentally start or stop the washer, press and hold the Options and Select buttons at the same time until the Control Lock indicator is lighted. Repeat the step to unlock the controls. We recommend clearing the top of the washer when it is in operation. Vibrations that may occur during normal use could cause some items to fall. The dispenser should be cleaned occasionally to prevent detergent or fabric softener buildup. To remove the dispenser, pull out the drawer until it stops. Then depress the lock tab to remove it. Lift out the insert and clean the drawer insert and chamber with hot water and a small brush. Replace the insert pressing down on the X to lock it in place. Return the drawer to the dispenser chamber. See the use and care guide for other tips on caring for your tumble action washer. Because of its unique tumble action, your washer may perform in ways unfamiliar to you. Some of the sounds of your washer are distinctly different from those of a conventional top-load washer. When you start the washer, you'll hear a click and a pumping sound. Before long, you'll hear and see water entering the drum. You'll often hear this. Your tumble action washer has a very unique sound during spin. This is perfectly normal. 
there may be a time when things just don't seem right and your washer is doing something that you're sure is not normal. View the following section of this DVD to help solve commonplace problems without having to call for service. You may occasionally find water left in the dispenser drawer. This is not a malfunction. It may be an indication that the dispenser needs to be cleaned. If the washer won't start, there are two quick checks that you should make. First, check your cycle selections. Consult your operating instructions for more information. Then, check the dispenser and door. Both must be closed for the washer to operate. After the washer starts, you'll hear the water as it fills the tub. If the water never stops running, check the drain standpipe. You'll see very little water during the cycle. The wash action gets clothes clean, and in many cases even cleaner than a traditional top load washer. Rest assured, while you're saving on your water bill, you're also saving on your clothing bill. The gentle wash action may prolong the life of your wardrobe. You should also rarely see a lot of suds. If you're seeing suds at this level, you've either used too much detergent or are not using an HE detergent. Oversudsing like this does not provide better results. It actually hinders performance and leaves excess detergent in your clothes. A small amount of water may be expelled through the overflow tube and onto the laundry room floor, but only in the most extreme case of oversudsing. Suds lock may prevent the washer from going into spin. The washer will appear to have stopped, but may actually still be slowly tumbling. Don't open the door. Simply run several cycles using cold water and fabric softener. Cold water will eliminate suds much faster than hot water. Occasionally, a very small load or a single article, like a throw rug or sweatshirt, can create an out-of-balance condition. If this occurs, the washer will tumble to redistribute the load. If it's unable to do so, stop the washer and add one or two similar items to help balance the load. If you feel your clothes are too wet after the spin, check for these conditions before calling for service. Perhaps you've selected a cycle that uses a slower spin to reduce wrinkling. Or you may have selected the low spin speed or no spin. Try a faster spin speed for that load next time. Remember, the high, medium, and low spin speeds are different for each cycle. We've covered a lot of material in this program. You may, from time to time, want to review certain parts of it. We hope you've enjoyed learning more about your Tumble Action Washer. If you have any questions that haven't been answered in this DVD or in these manuals, contact a consumer service representative.